So Topham had sat in his office listening to the noise outside. The passengers were angry. As the station master came in. Indeed, said Sir Topham Hatt. We cannot allow that. He found Henry, Gordon, and James looking cross. Come along, Henry. It's time your train was ready. Henry's not going, said, said Gordon. We won't shunt like common tank engines. That was Thomas's job. We are important tender engines. You fetch our coaches and we will pull them. Tender engines don't shunt. Oh, indeed. Said Sir Topham Hatt. We'll see about that. Engines on my railway do as they are told. He hurried away to found Edward. The yard has never been the same since Thomas left to run his branch line. He thought sadly. Edward was shunting. Sir Topham Hatt. Thank you, sir, said Edward. That will be a nice change. So Edward found coaches for the three engines, and that day the trains were ran as usual. The next morning, Edward looked unhappy. Gordon King clunky best, hissing really. The fat controller, what a noise. They'll hiss me, sir, panted Edward. And they said tender engines don't shun. And last night they say I have black wheels. I haven't, have I, sir? No, Edward, you have nice blue ones and I'm proud of you. Tender engines do shun. But all the same, we, we do need another tank engine here. He went to an engine workshop and they show him all sorts of engines. At last, he saw a smart little green engine with four wheels. That's the one. He thought. If I choose you, will you work hard? Oh, sir. Oh, sir! Yes, sir! That's a good engine. I'll call you Percy. Yep. Yes, sir! Thank you, sir! And the top from had brought Percy back to the yard. Good. He called. He called. Percy, will you show him everything? Percy know what he had to do and they have a happy afternoon. Then Henry came by, fishing me <laughs> with Percy. Henry jumped and ran back to the shed. How beautiful you wish him, said laughed Edward. I can wish like that. Oh, said Percy, that's nothing. You should hear them at the workshop. You have to wish loud and make yourself hurt. Last Thomas arrived. Uh, Sir Chopin had sent for me. I expect he wants help, he said to Edward. Shh, shh, here he comes, replied Edward. Done, Thomas. You've been quick. Listen, Henry Gordon and James are sulking. They say they won't shunt like common tank engines. So I have shut them up and I want you both to run the line for a while. Tank engines agree, said Thomas. We'll show them. Percy will help too. Sir, cried Percy. Edward and Thomas worked around the mainland, treating each other when they passed by. Percy ran on the branch line. Thomas was worried about Annie and Clarabelle, but both driver and conductor promised to take care of them. There were few trains, but the passengers didn't mind. They know that the three other engines were having a lesson. Henry, Gordon, and James were cold, lonely, and miserable. They wish now they hadn't been so silly.